Let's take a look at the dogs of December. Expedia, Ford, Salesforce, and Goldman are some of the worst S&P performers this month, all dropping double digits with just days to go until the new year. So will the December freeze hold? Let's play a game of... <laughs> Trade it or fade it! That was a pregnant pause done for dramatic effect. All right, that's right. Trade it or fade it, America's favorite fast money game. Let's kick it off with Salesforce. The stock is on pace for its worst December since 2011. Steve Grasso, trade it or fade it? I'm going to trade this one. This has more to do with technicals than fundamentals. This one has been piled out of uh, as far as the stock. I, I, I think it's uh, this is you, you mentioned on Tesla. It's so bad. It's good. I think that's what I'm getting on CRM. So uh, when you when you run out of sellers, I think you got to look for the buyers. I think buyers should be coming into the name. Mike, what do you say? Uh, I would fade this one. You know, you take a look at employee stock based compensation. This thing really doesn't look attractive. I mean, shareholders are not the winners when it comes to Salesforce, and I think people might be finally digesting that fact, and that's the reason you see this weakness. Next up, Expedia, the online travel agency, has lost more than 19% this month. Courtney, trade it or fade it? I would trade this year. Um, I do think that, that demand for travel is likely only going to continue as we look to 2023. This is very multifaceted. You're getting hotels, you're getting airlines. They also have VRBO, which is a great competitor at Airbnb. Trades it less than 10 times forward earnings. This is something I'd look at as an opportunity. Victoria, trade it or fade it? No, I'm going to fade it. I think you've got a troubled business. The margins were hit more than what we expected last time. They didn't reinstate their dividend. So I think you fade this. Ford, meantime, ending its day near its 52-week low. The car maker continuing its downward slide. So, Mike, trade it or fade it? Uh, I'm going to trade this one simply based on valuation, a little over five times earnings. Uh, I think we're probably, you know, getting into a very weak time for the automakers, but I think a lot of that is already priced in, and we've got a nice dividend in here, and that probably is going to lend some people to the dogs of the Dow support that you might get in the new year. Mm. Courtney. Yeah, actually, I think Mike has a lot of great points, though. I am going to fade it. This is more short term here. I do think the auto sector, which you mentioned, is still going to face some issues as interest rates are not coming down as fast as we want them to. You're seeing the affordability of cars is still a problem for people. I think that's going to put some pressure, not just on Ford, everyone. It is very cheap. As a long term investor, look at it, but short term, I would fade it. All right. Goldman Sachs dropping more than 11% this month. Victoria, trade it or fade it? Yeah, I'm going to trade this one. We liked financials. They've taken a hit on the chin, but we're warming up to them again. I mean, their global markets did well. Their consumer and wealth management did well. You've got a 3% dividend. Um, so I think Goldman is a name you can add here. You guys have been so well behaved in playing this game <laughs> and abiding by the rules. Steve Grasso, what do you say? Goldman Sachs, uh -huh. trade it or fade it? So this is a fade for me. And I think you sense that I might not be playing by the rules on this one. This is a fade <laughs> for me, but it's a trade. Uh, as yeah. I get deeper into next year. And Mike Mayo from Wells kind of brought me around to uh, listening to him and his analysis, brought me around to the financials. I think he, he coined the phrase re recession ready. So in the space, I'll, 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 I'll do a would you rather JP Morgan's the best financial Goldman Sachs. I would be a trader next year. I'm a fader now. I broke every rule in this game. I apologize. My head is spinning. <laughs> One for the vast money history books, that's for sure.